Hi, my name is Rebecca Carlene, and this is a video tour through my professional e-portfolio. Um, as I put together my portfolio, I was very conscientious about the look. I wanted it to appear professional, but I also wanted it to be um, practical. And I utilized a lot of links and buttons because I think the simplicity looks uh, makes it look a lot cleaner and organized versus um, embedding a bunch of different projects and documents. So throughout my portfolio, as you'll see here on my front page, there's uh, a lot of different links. I did change some of the terminology to, um, to, to different, I guess, terms or vocabulary that I thought maybe would be a little more um, self-explanatory. Um, so, and in just in case someone hasn't utilized Google Sites before, um, knowing that the different tabs up at the top provide different pages. I wanted to make sure that whoever is reviewing my portfolio has easy access to whatever they are looking for. So I'm going to start into my candidate info page. I did provide an image of myself just to um, put a face to a name so they, they can kind of correlate that as they go through my information. Um, I did provide some personal and professional goals um, as I want to continue to integrate um, the, you know, technology into my classroom, but also um, help those around me, whether it be um, my colleagues in, in my department or if um, you know it, my career goes another direction, I want to continue to um, help those around me in utilizing technology. Um, next, I've got my resume that um, I did go ahead and embed just so it's easy easy access, no links. Um, it's here, um, but then I also have a link to the original document. Um, and then my technology philosophy I embedded as well. Um, a short insert to <laughs> kind of tie it all together um, as well as the original document. So the activity evidence, um, again, links to whatever they are interested in, um, but we're going to start with my professional development plan. Instead of embedding the entire plan, which I think is um, seven plus pages, I just provided the overview um, to give the reviewer an idea of where, where I'm going and what I want to do, um, but then again, of course, a link to the original document. Um, to tie into my professional development plan of trying to um, incorporate more technology to benefit not only the students but as well as the, as, um, the staff, I did some different tutorials. So um, this first one here was a Zoom uh, meeting that I recorded with some of my online students. Um, what you'll see is at the um, within each section or for each tutorial, I went ahead and placed the presentation that I either provided or used for the, that tutorial. Um, this is an easy link just because they correlate, um, but it's also seen within my professional presentations as well. Um, the next one was a Socrative tutorial um, for my colleagues within the Allied Health Department. And then last but not least was a one-on-one -on -one with a colleague over um, soft chalk. The different presentations, like I said, are mentioned or are linked into my face-to-face um, -face tutorial page, but then they're embedded within my in, within this um, presentation page. And so a quick insert to the purpose of um, the different presentations um, that they can go through one-on-one -on -one and hopefully not have to uh, get distracted or pulled away from my site um, in that way. The article summaries, again, um, I, I did provide an original document, but it was suggested from um, one of my peer reviews to go ahead and link, uh, or I guess embed, excuse me, the actual articles. So I've done that for each. Um, I tried to change the colors so um, to help the reviewer actually isolate what is what. So um, to not be confused, I guess, um, between my three article reviews um, within this page. 
the extra resources, um, this page was actually, I, I enjoyed the most because it was really fun to go back and see all the different activities I've, I've done throughout the program, the different tools and technologies that I've integrated into my classroom. Um, so it was really fun to tie it all together. Um, one of the things that I learned early on in the program that has really made a big impact in my career is infographics. Um, I utilize them, one, to, to teach information, um, but secondly, as activities for my students to do. Um, they really have to have a grasp on the information to be able to put it into a creative, I guess, visual aid. Um, then I always have them do it for a public review so they they need to know enough information to um, to solidify that to the public and so anyways I've used it um, to market my my cardiac program that I actually built um, by myself uh, while I was going through the program um, I've used it um, in a lot of different ways so infographics and I kind of lumped them all together um, the the power of providing video um, we did a lot of different activities to either teach or explain. Um, so I've lumped all of those together as well as um, learning more about Google. Um, this has been a huge um, impact in my career as well as the department. Um, I've started utilizing uh, Google Slides and uh, Google Docs for different departmental um, projects just so we can all be on the same page everything updates um, anybody can access it anywhere it's just um, the Google Apps and all the tools are very um, very very helpful um, my peer reviews I did link them here I provided two internal peer reviews um, and provided their title as well as an external view um, here as well my reflection will obviously include um, this video tutorial, but also includes um, a link to my transparency um, reflection. So, um, anyways, I hope you enjoy.